Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. It has been a very long time since I have filmed, and I do apologize. I feel like I say that at the beginning of every video, but the reality is life just gets the best of me sometimes, and then I just go away for a little while, and I feel refreshed, and I come back, so that's pretty much that. Um, but yeah, so anyway, I wanted to film something. I picked up this Morphe palette and you guys probably know because if you're here and you're watching, you're probably a makeup buff like I am. But um, they have been kind of repackaging and doing a lot of different things and new formulations, even creamier, um, more longer wear um, products. So this is the 9C Jewel Crew palette. And basically it's a small palette for Morphe because you guys know Morphe is pretty um, big, you know, as far as their palettes go, they usually have quite a variety, but this is a smaller palette and the price point is really, really nice. And I'll link it down below for you guys, but it just gives you some warm tones and some jewel tones. So I thought this would be fun and different. And I kind of work, want to work with some of the cooler tones since I feel like warm is just all over the place. Everybody has warm eyeshadow and a lot of people like to do that for spring and summer. But sometimes when you have kind of like cool tone skin or more neutral skin, maybe you have like purple hair or different colors like I tend to do, um, sometimes warm can look really good, but sometimes it can kind of, you know, counteract that too. So this is going to be a little bit more of a cooler tone, um, at least in my book. I guess everyone kind of has a different opinion. It has a little warmth, but a little cool and a lot of jewel. Let's put it that way. Um, and another thing I want to try today is the Lancome Tinny Doll. Um, this is the foundation stick version, and um, it's supposed to have a little bit more pop to it as far as the coverage. And it does have um, SPF 21 versus SPF 15 in the liquid formulation. And it's the same concept of long wear and just, you know, all day coverage. Um, I really like the formula. I think it works really well, but I'm actually going to blend the two together today. So let's get into that. First, I want to prep my skin. I'm going to use the No Pore Problem from Touch and Soul. This is a really cool product, you guys, because it works on um, helping to blend out your pores and blur them away, but it also adds a bit of hydration. I don't know what the magic secret is with it, but it feels really nice on the skin. And I just think it goes really well with this particular product. Um, my skin is really red today because I actually did a peel um, this morning. I did like an in-shower peel with Bosch's um, glycolic pink peel, I think it's called. I'll have to link that down below. But basically, every now and then I just feel my skin looks congested. Like... It's always red, so that's really not the issue. It's more just, um, it'll get like texture to it, but not even like pimples, just weird texture. I can't explain it. And it'll feel just like more rigid. So doing these kind of in-shower peels, you put it on clean, dry skin, you work it into the skin, and then you're going to kind of see the skin and the product build up in your hands, which is a little gross, but for me, it's kind of satisfying. I don't know. I watch Dr. Pimple Popper, so that's like nothing for me. Um, but anyway, you see the skin kind of collect and then you're gonna rinse it clean. They say to follow with moisturizer, but I actually go in and I follow with just a soothing cleanser just to make sure all the peel is away. Um, sometimes even a facial oil. And then I go in and moisturize my skin. So I did that today just because I felt like needed it and I do feel a bit more rejuvenated even though I get a little more red, but I'm red anyway, so what you gonna do about that? Anyway, I put my lip balm on. I always use my Vaseline. I have rosy lips and also the um, Shea Moisture one, I think it is. They're both so good and they just prep your lips really nicely when you're doing your makeup. And so let's go in. I'm gonna go in with the stick formulation first. I like to start with this and blend out with my liquid. I've seen other people do it. I, I think Patrick Star will do like a liquid base first and then pack on like a cream foundation, but this is just what works for me. Sometimes when I do it the opposite way, I feel like it moves the cream, um, or the cream moves the liquid and it just gets runny, but I could be wrong. Um, so anyway, this is the color 230 Buff W, which is a little bit warmer for me. 
but I have been unfortunately getting color and I know right how funny is that you don't hear that much on like Instagram and YouTube world but I actually prefer not to have color because I don't want to damage my skin but it's kind of inevitable when you're a mom and you go outside with your kids um, you just get color no matter how much sunscreen or makeup sunscreen products you wear so I'm gonna mix a little 260 bisque N and then also a 330 bisque N which I know sounds crazy but the titty doll colors are just so different as far as you know what matches your skin and I'm usually very fair but I just feel like these this combination works really well and I'm buffing this in with an IT Cosmetics brush, a Bye Bye, this is the Bye Bye Pores powder brush, but I use it for my liquids, you guys know that. I love this thing. It's so big and soft and dense all at the same time, and you can see how well it just blends all those products together. So in the last few weeks since I have seen you guys, I now have an eight-year-old son so my little guy had a birthday. Well, my little guy, my older guy, I should say, because I have two. Um, my youngest is four, and now my older son is officially eight. I'd say eight with an attitude because I don't even know where these kids get their attitudes today. They are, he's a great kid, he really is, but he's just definitely finding his voice, if you will. And it's hard for me as a mom because I want him to become more independent and talk to me and tell me things and, um, you know, not hold back. But, but then sometimes I'm like, whoa, okay, that's a little too forward. Thank you for telling me that, you know, a little too honest. But, um, you know, he's finding his voice. But at the same time, you know, as a parent, you have to have limitations to every little thing. So... It's been an interesting ride, to say the least. I'm going in with a little more liquid, you guys, just to kind of set and finish this foundation off and also down my neck because I feel like nothing matches. I hate That's what I hate about getting color in the summer is because you have all this makeup that you like finely tune to your skin and then it's like you go outside for like an hour and all of that changes. And you guys know, bougie ain't cheap, so when you like what you like, that's like another $47 for another foundation, or more, depending on what you wear. So we are getting down to the last week of school. I believe it's next week we finish, my kids. And it's crazy, and there's just like the last of baseball season. And playoff games and birth everyone has like a kid in the summertime I swear to god we have like all these birthday parties and things people just love to get it on in the winter apparently because I don't know maybe it's cold or whatever but so many freaking birthdays um, so I'm gonna go in with my Kylie Jenner skin concealer in the color bone and also I picked up makeup revolution London conceal and define it's supposed to be a full coverage conceal and contour based on the color you purchase this is c3 which is in the lighter kind of more cooler family um, I do like it I I don't think it's quite as like a full coverage as say your Tarte um, shape tape or like a NARS creamy um, concealer but I think for the price point, it's a really good product. And um, it blends really well with the Kylie concealer, which is a little bit more medium. And I love the um, tone of this because it has the bone color has almost more of like a pinkish peach tone. And I feel like they're both light and bright, but a little bit of pink and a little bit of that light yellow. And you get like that perfect neutral mix at least for my skin. And I'm just going to dampen my sponge again with a little Fix Plus. I picked up Fix Plus in pink light and it has a little bit of a glow to it, which is kind of like the old school soft and glow or soft and gentle, I think it was called. But I really like the glow that it gives my skin. 
so I've been using that a lot now to just blend out and break up some of the powders because you guys know I'm a powder whore do a lot of powder but yeah so I've been like going through transitions lately with just kind of dealing with you know every now and then I get like homesickness because when you completely like relocate I don't know some people do it and they just you know get back into a swing of things so soon but I've had such a hard time since moving south from the north and I think a lot of it is because my brothers and my nieces and nephews are there. Like, it's just, it's hard for me. It's really hard. And um, also, like, just having so, so much family there, having had so many friendships and just so much history. So it's been really hard for me to adjust. And, and I will, and I'll do good for a while, and then I get homesick again. And it's just crazy, like... I really do, I have to be honest, want to move back. And it's nothing against where I live. It's just a personal choice of mine and, you know, something I've wanted to do. I just think what's so challenging, and you know this if, you know, you're from like a major city, is just the financial aspect of it. Raising a family, having the things that you need, you know, just the day-to-day -day living. It's just a lot of money. Um, and I think it's doable and you can make it work, but you have to be smart about it. And we moved, you know, down here for opportunities. And so you have to be grateful for what you have. But I'm, I'm hanging in there, guys. It's, it's not always easy. Like I said, some people just adapt so well to change. And I'm just like in my little corner, like, mm-mm. Okay, so I'm just setting my under eyes right now with some Derma Blend, and then I'm also gonna go into the rest of my face. I'm using a smaller Real Technique sponge because I've just, you guys have seen me use this before. I like how it gets into the harder to reach places, and it's a little bit easier to control the powders this way. But I always like to set with a translucent powder because I really believe that in this awful, <laughs> disgusting heat that we've been having and rain and nastiness, I swear we live in like a friggin' depression lately. But I swear by this to help keep everything in place. Just Florida all the way on up. So I don't know, Mother Nature, I mean, you're pissed at somebody, honey, because it's crazy. Okay, so the one thing I feel like this palette is missing, this Morphe palette, is that I love these colors so much, but I feel like right away you have such dark colors, and even though these are technically more transition tones, I don't feel like they're quite light enough. I like to start really light. So I'm gonna go into my Anastasia Beverly Hills, pardon the ghetto fabulousness. It's been a while and I've had this for a long time. Anyway. I'm going to go in with an Anastasia A12 and start with the color Tempera and just work that all over my eyelid to kind of be the priming, highlighting base of everything. But I like having something just a little bit softer. The next color I want to use because I want to stick with some of these like purpley tones in this palette is I want to take this really pretty color Bon Fresco which is like a soft kind of almost like lavender taupe color and I'm going to work that into the A12 and kind of tap that out a little bit and it's got it's almost deceiving because it has quite a bit of color this Bon Fresco but it's like a nice cool almost like taupey lavender gray and I feel like it works well with some of the purpley tones in this palette. But I'm just gonna blend this in back and forth into my crease. And I'm even gonna take a little bit on the outside corner here. When I start my colors too, guys, I, I usually start kind of with my head tilted back, working into my crease. And then I kind of start to straighten my head out and straighten the brush out. I just feel like it blends it really nicely. 
without leaving any kind of harsh marks or lines. All right, now I'm gonna go in with a Morphe brush, my um, M441, you guys know I love this brush. This is really great for building the crease. And I'm gonna take the color Rich Girl in the Morphe palette. This has a lot more pop to it, so you might want to work slowly, like building the color rather than going in super heavy. But um, if you're a heavy hitter, then more power to you. <laughs> then again, I'm going to come in on like a straighter angle just so I can kind of leave this front portion light, but then keep it nice and dark. Anyway, speaking of birthdays, my boo celebrated another birthday and it was a nice day. It was just quiet. It was kind of, the weather wasn't so hot, but we just chilled and Netflixed and it was a nice day. He's, he's really easy that way. He's not like, oh my God, why didn't you throw me a big party? Like, you know, well, I hope he wouldn't be like that. But anyway, he was just really mellow and easygoing, my little hippie dude. So he was very happy and it's just kind of like, I'm one of those people when I buy a gift, I can't wait to give it to people. And it's so bad because I'm, I just can't surprise people because I always want to give them the gift. I get so excited. So he's been getting gifts for like two weeks now from me because I just can't like... I try so hard and I'm like, I'm, I'm gonna wait till his birthday and then I just freaking screw it up and just give him the gift anyway. And then I feel bad because he doesn't have a gift for his actual birthday, so then I go and get another gift. Yeah, it's bad. But anyway, that was a fun day. So I'm gonna go back in with a little Bonfresco now on that A12 brush and just kind of really work it in because I don't want a lot of pigment, but I just want to use it to blend and soften the crease a little bit. So, now moving onward, this is from the Pink Marble Collection from BH. This is the number six. It's a smaller detailed crease brush and it's a little bit more densely packed. So I like it because it's really good for working with a dark color in your crease. And going back to Morphe palette, I'm gonna take Hidden Gem, which is almost like a raisiny brown purple. And it has a little pop of shimmer in it. I don't know if it's, I wanna say it's like a silver shimmer, but I like this a lot for the outside corner. So we're gonna start this right here on the lid and work it into the crease, just to add another pop of depth. And then just kind of tilt your head, work it into the crease, whatever's left on the brush. dark but I like it a lot go back in again a little more bon fresco it's like the color of the day you guys and just again work this into the crease I'm barely touching the crease with this because I just want a very light touch because I want to blend Now we're gonna cut out the lid a little bit. And to do that, I wanna start with a liquid first because I wanna pack this liquid with rose quartz and purple rain, which is also in this awesome palette. But to do that, I feel like a liquid base really helps and it helps to brighten and keep the shadows in place longer. So this is from e.l.f. This is the Molten Liquid Eyeshadow in Rose Gold, which I know you're probably like, gold? But I thought this was cool. I just didn't have like a, a cool tone liquid eyeshadow. Not gonna lie, guys. That's why I did it. I'm gonna take a Morphe um, eyeshadow brush, the M124, and just start patting this into the eyelid. Kind of work it into the shape you want for your lid space. Cut out your lid. And then I'm just gonna pull a little bit into the crease here. But I wanna kinda leave this front portion nice and dark. That's my trick. I don't pull the color all the way across the lid. I just kinda pull it across halfway and then I go up into the crease with it. But yeah, it just brightens up the whole eye doing this and you can actually take whatever's left 
and just kind of pat it onto the inside corner here just to brighten. And it almost enlarges the eye too. I mean, I have pretty large protruding eyes, but if you have no lid space, you can kind of go up here into the beginning of your crease area by the brow bone and just put a light soft color and that'll help to just really pop that. So now I'm gonna hit this brush with a little Fix Plus. And what I wanna do is actually go into Vermeer, which is in the Anastasia palette. And I wanna take that first because it's a very pretty champagne -y pink. And I wanna pop that on that inside corner and really brighten so you can see the difference of how it pops. Okay, now that we have the inside corner light, we're gonna go into Rose Quartz, which is in that Morphe palette. And just take that onto the first portion of the lid. Just kind of that, here's the inside corner and then right at the front part of where the lid starts. Then the last thing I wanna do is take that color Purple Rain. And that has a much more lilac lavender base. And we're gonna work that into the center of the lid right before that darker raisin color. But anyway, I have the lid base set. Now I just wanna come in and smoke out the lower lash line a little bit. So to do that, I'm gonna grab an It Cosmetics pencil brush or a smudge brush, you know, anything. And I'm gonna take that Hidden Gem Raisin color and also mix it with Rich Girl and start working that into the lower lash line. Now I'm also gonna take a little bit into that front portion or excuse me, that um, end portion of our eyelid just to emphasize and smoke this out a little bit. And then I'm gonna go back in with that BH number six brush and just kind of smoke it into the outside corner just to kind of merge the gem colors on the lid and that outside crease together. I'm also going to go in now with a number seven from that pink marble collection. And the last step I want to do is go back to Bonfresco and work that into the lower lash line as well because this is a tapered brush. It's easy to kind of smoke it into the lower lash line but it's fluffy enough that it'll soften any kind of harsh lines. Okay, so I'm gonna put the eyes on hold now and start working on my face. And the first thing I wanna do is take my Laura Mercier Rich Vanilla Mineral Powder and kind of work this into the skin just to warm it up. And I'm gonna leave the bake where we have it, but just kind of work around the bake. So I'm putting this on a Laura Mercier um, powder brush, a finishing brush. And we're just gonna kind of buff this into the cheekbone, almost where you would hit your face with bronzer, I guess, just to add a level of warmth to the skin. Because even though we have more kind of cool jewel tones, I wanna add some warmth to my skin so I don't look so pale. I'm gonna come now into the jawline, not quite under it, but actually into the jaw. And it's okay if you're dusting away some of the bake because at this point, it should be melting into your skin anyway. And this is just gonna help by blending it. So I'm gonna come around the perimeter of my face, down into the forehead. And then, of course, down my neck as well. I'm going to take another BH brush, the number three from the Pink Marble Collection. And I want to start dusting away some of that bake that's under my eyes. And also the bake left over on my chin. 
jaw. I'm going to take a little bit of my um, Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish. This is the number two powder. And on that same brush, I'm just going to tap that out and work this kind of into the chin and the jaw. And kind of work it around where I placed that mineral powder. I'm going to use the number one from the BH Marble Collection and go into my Makeup Revolution Pro HD Contour Powder Kit and work with these dark shades here. So I just kind of grab a little bit of each, take that on the back of my hand. And right in that hollow of the cheek, I'm going to work this for contour. And come down under the jawline just to create more shadow and depth. Now going back in, I'm going to use some of these lighter colors on top. And that's what I usually work onto the forehead. I don't like it too dark or muddy around the top of my head, but I do want to add some shadow and depth. So I feel like using those lighter colors keeps it more natural for me. But I do want to condense some of the space on my forehead. And then after that's done, I go back in with a duo finishing brush and just kind of blend it Almost like a blending that mineral powder in with that contour. One last thing. I'm going to go in with a Morphe sponge and take this soft kind of pinkish white color and the yellow here. And I mix them both onto my sponge. Tap it out. And work that under the eyes for brightness and also onto the high point of the cheekbone to highlight. Again, I know it feels like a lot of powder, but... It really sits and builds beautifully on the skin. I'm actually gonna go and do my liquid eyeliner off camera as well as my eyebrows because it's kind of like repetitive and you've seen it before. Again, I'm using my Stila um, Stay All Day liquid light liner pen. And um, I'm also gonna use my Maybelline mascara. And then what else? We're gonna do Anastasia's Brow Wiz for brows today. Just kind of speed up the process here and then we'll come back and finish the rest of the look okay guys so now it is time to finish with blush and highlighter so for blush today I want to mix a little bit of rapture afterglow from urban decay and then a little bit of my nude blush from Maybelline fit me both are in that real pretty movie pink family and I think it's gonna complement the eye look so I'm just gonna take a little bit of each and work them into my hand For highlighter today, I want to keep the highlighter a bit cooler, so I'm going to use my Spotlight Highlight um, from BH Cosmetics. And in this palette, there's a really pretty color, Allure, which has kind of like a purpley mauve tone, and then Ethereal, which is more of like your champagne pop. So by kind of blending the two, I think I'll get a mixture of both, but it won't look too shadowy. Sometimes if you put a highlighter on your skin that is just the wrong tone or too dark, it'll actually create shadow instead of light. So we want to try to avoid that. And what I want to do first is just take a little Fix Plus, shake that up. Morphe M510 and mix those two colors together and then pop that onto the high point of my cheekbone. So I just put a little bit of foundation on my lips and the reason being is that 
Um, I like to neutralize always before I go in with a lip color. And for today's look, I wanna do kind of like a raisiny ombre look to kind of emphasize some of the cool tones in this um, makeup eye look. So I'm gonna use um, from Laura Mercier their red chocolate, which is a little bit warm, and then fresh, which also kind of has like a warmth but it's like a warm cool. So I guess they're more neutral tones. Um, and I'm gonna take the red chocolate first to line my lips. And let's see here. I'm gonna do something different and start with the bottom lip today. Yeah, sometimes I want someone to grab my hand Pick me up, pull me close, be my man I will love you till the end Now I want to go in and shade a little bit So smoothing it out with your finger is definitely going to help create more of that ombre effect now we're gonna go in with that really pretty color, Fresh. And this is the Velour Matte Extreme Lipsticks from Laura Mercier. I love these so much. So again, using my finger, I'm just gonna come in and just diffuse it. But what I'm gonna do is just go in with a really pretty kind of light nude lipstick. I'm just gonna press that in the center. And then again, use my finger or you can even use a brush too. And just kind of pull some of the darker colors into the lighter color in the center. So I know we did Fix Plus, we broke up some of the powders, but I like to break up the powders, put on my highlighter, and then seal it all in with like the final top coat. So to do that, I always use my Scandinavia Makeup Finishing Spray. And this is great to control oils and just lock the look in place all day. Okay guys, so this is the finished look, and I love it. Always, always love it. Yeah, I like it, I like it a lot. Um, anyway, <laughs> now that I'm done admiring myself, um, so recapping, we used the Morphe Cool Jewel 9C palette, Jewel Crew, excuse me, whatever, Cool Jewel, Jewel Crew 9C Morphe palette. Anyway, um, I really, really love the performance of these shadows. I'm very impressed. Um, so yeah, really, really love it. Definitely, I consider this more of a cooler purple smoky eye, but, um, I mean, I could be wrong. Like, I feel like the lines of cool and warm are so close now with some shadows because of the way things are mixed and created. But it's fun because we get to play with so many different choices now. And I think that that's so bomb and awesome. Um, but anyway, I really love this look. I hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me, this tutorial. If you have any more questions, just comment down below. Please give me a thumbs up if you like my video and subscribe to my channel if you have haven't already and I will try to keep the videos coming closer together hopefully with summer and not having all these school activities and things it will be a little bit easier for me to continue to film more um, but just know that you know yeah I love what I do it's just hard to always do it so anyway again hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial I've said that 25 times <laughs> until the next time be my man I will love you till the end